guaranteed real gem inside. I wish it was guaranteed real squirrel inside. It's opening. <coughs> ah, hunted squirrel, run for it. Oh no, oh no, oh no. I hope we find ancient hamburgers. On the table, it is all about Treasure X. X marks the spot. Aliens vs. Kings multi-pack. Three times treasure quests inside. Guaranteed real gem inside. <laughs> I know, finally my first chance at a real gem. Have not found one yet. Pack includes one alien, one hunter, and one mini beast. On the back of this treasure chest-like box, some of the activities we will be doing today. Dissecting the alien, and digging into King's Gold Caskets. 24 levels of adventure and all. I'm thinking we'll find something really cool. I like the half and half box art going on too. Okay, let's open up the box, see what's inside. Okay, we are inside the box. We have our King's Gold Tomb over here. We have our King's Gold Mini Beast. And the Gizmuk Alien is here to play. Oh, and Landry is standing on the slime container for Gizmuk. I think we have some good play indeed inside. Well, let's start small with the Mini Beast. Interesting no breaking board on this one. We're just digging right in with our small X shovel tool. This fish tank rock is just the most stickiest of stuff. I think we might be able to just like lift it off the uh, beast in here. So gooey. Think Rice Krispie treats because that's kind of what it feels like. Two bags inside, huh? Alright, who do we find? So we begin our day with a gull rab mini beast. That's actually really creepy. With a rotating head, the treasure included, I think that's a warrior skull. And of course, a small little scorpion trap was inside. So these are rare crystal finish figures involved with this set. Pretty cool mini beast. That crystal finish is working real well, plus the little gold highlight details. Let's transition over to the Treasure X aliens now. Kind of funny, a good combination of aliens and Egyptian treasure. We all knew the pyramids were built by aliens, right? So Gizmuk, how do you want to do this today? How about we don't? Oh, Gizmuk never wants to get sliced. Let's get out our X tool and begin. There's our spine to retract. Maybe just a little more. That should do. Use your pinchers to grab this spine and pull. Got it. Got it. Okay. And finally, the sack of disgusting. We'll give it a good stab here. Maybe two good stabs. Three good stabs. There, there we go. Now we're in. I think Landry has just passed out. Usually the squirrel does better. Oh, this is cool. Always my favorite part. Who is this guy? Hmm. Maybe if we remove the entire bag this time. Ugh. Sorry, Gizmuk. Whoa, that is super gooey this time. Oh, this guy's got a cool mask. Haven't found this one yet.
think it's from the Galaxy Trackers X Face, I believe. Wow, look at that weapon. E, still got some slime all over X Face here. And it is indeed X Face from the Galaxy Trackers. This one is really quite indeedly awesome. New to me, I don't believe I found an X Tracker before. I think the pink skin on this guy really turns out yucky. Even has these really strange alien tally marks going on that helmet. What's that all about? Great weapon accessory, painted really well overall. I'm really glad to meet X Face. In some way plays as a major mascot for Treasure X. Well now for the spleen sack, and possibly my first ever real gem. It's in there somewhere. I love the fact that they have real gem packs for the hardcore fans. There it is, it's inside the little UFO. How funny. It's green, it's heavy. Can I get it out? Oh, and he actually can hold it as a shield? No way! How very interesting is this? I love this little container. Still kinda hard to see that gem in there. What is this? So it says, it says, did you know if you find a real gem, it's a peridot gem, or is that peridot gem, some of which have been found in meteorites, so your real gem could actually be from outer space. That's pretty special. Well, that's truly awesome, and now we can place it over onto the hunter's hand, which was a major surprise for me. I didn't know they would do that. And now we can hold that gem as a true treasure find of Treasure X. Well, that turned out to be pretty spectacular. Don't forget you have your slime ooze container to keep your slime fresh. You can place, well, this would be a different line, but I'll throw him in there. There's our face hugger and our rib cage. Throw that in there and it'll last for a little longer being sealed. Okay, our King's Gold Treasure Hunter is up next. Look at this tomb, it's huge. It's solid. We'll start off by removing the plastic outer covering. We have our shield on the front of the tomb, if I recall. There it is. And we can place our treasure onto that shield. I always forget that part. And there is the official boarded up treasure tomb. For some reason, I thought the mini beasts had that too. But it's just the uh, big guys, I suppose. And now, for the best, funnest part. Here's a squirrel. Uh. Wow. Uh, tiny chipmunk squirrel. Uh, oh, nope, nope. Okay, a uh, big gray squirrel. Oh, it's better just to jab in with the axe. Oh, this is so satisfying. Look at that. So fun. Oh, and this is a good one, too. Sometimes the whole entire board comes off. This one looks like it was sealed down pretty well. And now to dig into. Rice Krispie Treats for everyone. That must be our hunter. Probably a weapon. And more probably the treasure. Oh, this stuff is so weird. It is so crumbly weird. It kind of starts to wake up as you release it from its packed nature. And then you can really kind of crumble it around. You can kind of form it back into a ball and then it just wants to just crumble back away. Real interesting stuff. I only wish they had done more colors than just blue. Anyhow. Digging into the first mummy package. Whoa, who is this dude? Also with rare crystal finish, this is Pharaoh Loot Loot. I like your flip-flops, Loot Loot. Let's catch his weapon out. Loot Loot's feet are really squirrely. They keep spinning around on me. But I like the figure. I like the pharaohness of it. And with that pharaoh-like snake headdress. Very interesting. Well, let's see what the treasure will behold. Oh, this is the part with the key. Did we ever find the key? I can never find the key. 
I'm sure it's somewhere. Well, this is awkward. Do I have to do everything myself? Kylo Ren? You got it! I expect you to watch my shuttle review now. Yeah, yeah, Kylo, we know all about your shuttle. Very well, what treasure x treasure did Kylo Ren spring? There was a trap, but we were saved. I think I've seen this one before. This looks really familiar. It's a super speed money headed snake treasure. Let's place that onto our shield. I actually remembered this time. And there we have Pharaoh Loot Loot in all his glory. The gold details, the rare crystal finish, really turned out spectacular on that one. And there, the aliens, hunters, and mini beasts we've found today. Pretty good Aliens vs. Kings Treasure Xbox today. Everything was new to me here today. A pretty good combination box, I found mine over on Amazon.com, runs approximately $27 to $30, which is close in line to grouping up some of the single packs. I do like the boxes involved with these, they're very reusable if you cut them open right. They are great treasure chest collection boxes. I'm guessing the only King's toys included with this pack are the rare crystal finish figures. So if those are your style, this King's box is perfect. The Treasure X Alien figures though are what you would normally see in the Aliens release. Only this time you're really guaranteed a real gem inside. I can't say enough how much I like that guarantee. So a very impressive fun collector's box, hunt one down if you dare. And of course, after all of this is said and done, I found the key to the mini treasure chest. 